of the story of the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Hope that everyone is feeling amazing. You're very independent. Um, you've come very far with something here that you've worked on. You're, you're self-sufficient. Um, you, you've built something on your own. And now there seems to be this group around you that could be positive. There could be something positive. You're working with a group or you're going to work with a group. Or there's a group thinking about you. Or this is something at work. Um, a group, some type of collaboration. Um, you, you see them, the, these people, um, they seem to be in the upright here, so they see you as an empress or you're this empress energy and you're working with this group or going to work with this group. Um, there's some sort of a collaboration. Um, okay, so, but at the same time, there's something else going on here. There's someone here that doesn't want to let something go that is experiencing some type of a tower that they're trying to um, get out of or ignore. And they've got some type of um, project or something they were doing um, that's failing. It's failing and, and they're stuck or trapped. Um, this group's not on the same page or something that they were trying to do together isn't working. Um, So, let's see what, what's the point of need to know that's watching this video? Someone's taking a loss. There seems to be somebody looking into something about you, um, reading into something, researching something. Because of this, someone is stuck or someone is, can't make a move or someone's waiting for something. The problem is you're this queen of swords. You're too perceptive. You're too perceptive. Someone is, or someone is stuck because you're very clear about something, and and this is what makes you victorious. Um, or you're you're a speaker. You're speaking about something, or you've said something. You could have a platform. Um, there could be some sort of romantic energy around you, um, but there's some type of third party situation uh, in the mix here, or someone, or there's a social dynamic that is not good. Um, third party uh, situation. Deep down, someone knows that there's some good news coming your way, um, or there's some type of a message you're looking at, this message. Um, in the recent past, justice, some type of karma playing out in a situation. Um, intentions, expectations, someone either knows that someone wants to come towards you romantically, someone wants to come towards you romantically, um, yeah, and someone's real nervous about it. Someone's, someone's very, very nervous about this romantic energy. It could be someone here that wants reward without effort, um, but there's a king of swords here who is watching who sees everything, who's very, very clear and just. This could be Archangel Michael. Um, it has to do with you overcoming some type of heartache. Um, this King of Swords has maybe helped you through some heartache or is aware of something that you've been through, um, that you've recovered, you've, you've recovered, um, you're recovering. There was something heartbreaking here that happened. Um, Near future, three of pentacles, reverse. Some type of group or clique or problem at work is not, it's falling apart. Um, this group is not, whatever they were trying to do, it's, it seems like it's just getting worse for these, this, these people because you're happy and you're being seen and loved here. It's like you won something, you're winning, um, you're celebrated and there is some type of a bully or someone that did something very hastily, um, but it's the, there's some sort of illusion that's being cleared up um, where they were trying to create an illusion and now they're in, in a nightmare. Um, 
There could be someone that did something hastily. Um, they felt like they had options or turned you into an option and realizing you're not an option. It could be that as well. The lens someone's looking through. I feel like um, they see you as a master manifestor or you have a master manifestor around you. Um, in the environment, Ace of Pentacles reversed. There's some type of a loss here. There's something that can be, that's a problem that can be seen, touched, felt, heard, smelled. Um, this has to do with rejection, you not being rejected. Someone here, um, there's some sort of un unfair power exchange and someone's real nervous about this. It's some type of, there's some type of a nightmare in the energy here. Someone is thinking deeply about a situation, thinking very, very deeply. Um, a King of Pentacles is, this is a masculine energy in the upright, um, dependable, practical, um, good with business, good managing people. They could have a lot of resources. Um, someone is trying to avoid a tower in regards to this, this situation because something is being reworked. Um, having to do with this group of people or a third party situation, some type of a social dynamic that is, has gone awry. There's some, someone made a, an error of judgment or there's a group here that contributed to a problem. Um, it's just, there's a tower here um, and someone is very, very nervous. There could have been someone doing something very underhanded projecting a lot of bad energy. Um, they could be doing this now. You're healing from something and you've got someone projecting a lot of negative energy at you because you're not rejected. It could be that you could be picking up on it. This is someone who's trying to avoid a tower because they um, wanted to try, they wanted to win at all costs and they feel like they're defeated. Um, hopes and fears, three of swords reverse. Sometimes it's some type of recovery that someone's worried about. You're recovering from a broken heart. Um, star reverse because they feel like then they're not going to be the one that shines or their wishes won't come true. Um, this is someone who's hiding something, operating in secret. Um, there could be some sort of lunacy or mania here. Someone is this is very strange energy. This is lunacy, um, star reverse, moon. It's like someone is, this could be a spiritual downgrade. Something's not spiritually aligned. There's some, something strange going on. I just did a reading, um, there's something about weird energy. I still feel like this is more of it. It's been going on since I feel like the, the full moon, um, in Capricorn judgment reverse. This is someone who doesn't want to take accountability, is hiding something, they feel lackluster or they're trying to block your light. Um, outcome. Knight of Swords Reverse. So this is some type of bully or someone who acts hastily. We'll see what they're up to. Nine of Wands Reverse under the deck. This is someone who will not let something go. Um, having to do with something that's being reworked because they, they could be trying to abuse their power. Um, I feel like this person could be trying to exhaust you. Um, the devil, the devil, the moon, knight of swords reverse. This is like really negative, dark, dark, dark energy. There's some type of obsession or lunacy here with the devil and the moon. I, I feel like somebody is unstable and they're, they're um, projecting for sure. It has to do with you not being rejected. Um, and this person is trying to avoid a tower. I feel like they can't handle it. They can't handle something or there's some truth coming out or... Um, the tower could have to do with their own self-realization, their own 
acceptance of a situation, um, the acceptance of reality, a real, a big reality check. Um, there could be some type of faulty foundation built on lies. Somebody, this could be like an energy vampire, somebody who prides themselves in others' downfall or something like that. Somebody who feels like if you're down, then they're number one. Uh, this could be someone who feels like, you know, if they left you in the dust and you weren't supposed to get back up again and now you are living your life and you're, you're happy or you're healing, um, that that's a tower, like that they made a mistake. This could be some type of shocking, shocking information um, about someone who's in this devilish energy. Um, this is a really intense, intense um, situation that, you know, you, I think you're in really great energy, but it's sort of precarious, nefarious projection or energy aimed at you. This is someone who is unstable and in a very dark place. And I definitely feel like, you know, it's like you've made it over a hill, uh, you've made it over a mountain, um, and now, and now this, you know, so I feel like you're, you're not into it. Um, yeah, this person could have some type of addictive patterns here. They want to be the hero. Um, you're a child divine. And you're a visionary. So you know where you're going, you know what you're building. And it's, for you, you're more than done with this situation. You're tired of this person who's constantly in this Avenger energy trying to attack you that's only interested in money. Um, you you want to move towards this North Node without, um, you know, some type of issue coming from this person, this toxic person. Um, this could be somebody that um, does what, they, they gave their power away to a group. Um, this is a shapeshifter energy. This person is not a guide. Um, this person is an energy vampire that is slowly fading away, but um, they, they themselves are not a visionary. I feel like that's another reason why they're in competition with you. This person could be um, religious, but not believe in um, the religion they practice, or they could come from a religious family. Um, just very um, materialistic. So let's see, what else do we need to know about this person? You could be an advocate and they're focused on you. Um, someone could be advocating for a child. Um, something about someone rescuing you or helping you. Um, this person is not a healer. They're, someone is... Okay, there is a masculine energy that's in the upright. Priest, exorcist, this is something about letting go of some type of darkness here. Someone has the Midas touch. I feel like this is this magician energy. Someone could be working on your behalf. You might not know who they are. Um, someone is not someone's friend. Someone is not a child divine. There's someone helping someone here. Someone is definitely helping. I feel like you could be the liberator. Or there's someone helping you. There's something about... Then there's something else going on where there's somebody, there's like a feminine energy who's real pretentious. Um, trying to block chivalry. be trying to block someone from thinking logically or this person thinks that they're more logical than they are this has to do with some type of network of people with that three of pentacles the three of cups and they're focused on you you're this feminine energy that's the feminine expressed your wisdom nature life force and sensuality and there's someone here who doesn't have those um traits that is 
has been trying to destroy you and it's not working. Um, you could be a storyteller and, and a pioneer. Um, you could... You have the ability to express life through stories and symbols. And you do things in a new way. Someone feels vic victimized by you. This bully feels victimized by you. They thought they were stronger than they were. Um, there's a Don Juan reverse here as well. So there's a masculine energy and a feminine energy. There's been there's bullying here. The energy is real, real bad. But this is bad energy. Let's see. I don't know if this isn't a friend from the past that's involved. Or this is a couple that's breaking up. Or this is an ex. There's something about someone not being with someone. Someone not being romantically interested in someone. Someone, um, someone facing their own demons. Somebody freeing themselves from destructive impulses. Okay. For the collective, who is stuck and can't make a move? It's this karmic feminine energy because your pathway is clear. There's some sort of secret going on about, or a group of people know something about someone's freedom here, someone moving forward freely. Um, they feel blocked because you're moving forward. It's just so strange. Um, there's some type of message that is connected to this. I don't know if people are messaging one another or some document or something that someone's reading or seeing or studying or learning about. Um, yeah, messages. Um, someone's not trapped. You're not trapped. Someone else is stuck. They can't make a move. They weren't expecting this. They don't know what to think. You're, you're not in despair. There's something about you recovering from heartache and not being stuck that um, people were not expecting that stood to gain something off of your heartache. Harm has been playing out. Who's stuck or tell me about the stuck person. They can't make a move, they have to wait. Um, it's a main male, so this is this shapeshifter energy, who tried to knock you off your square. This is not somebody that you were in a relationship with. It's a masculine energy, could be anybody, bad vibes very bad vibes. There's something about a message regarding this person, from this person, to this person. Uh, this person's corresponding with someone. Um, they wrote something they shouldn't have. It's something could be catching up to them. They're, re they're receiving a message they don't like. Um, they weren't expecting this. <sighs> Coffin, someone, something is over. This thief can't steal something. Your, your journey is free. You're not trapped. Someone tried to do something here to you. It's like, I don't know if trap you in heartache, trap you circumstantially. It's just that you're too observant. The problem is you're too smart. So someone wasn't expecting you to be this smart, perceptive, to have healthy boundaries, to not get lost in your emotions because there's something about you overcoming heartache. You know, your heart... Um, you're not acting from the heart. You're not making choices based on the heart. Um, or if you do, there's like a, a, th a thought process. You are mentally balanced. You have strong boundaries and you're, you're very intelligent and you are forthright and diplomatic. So there could be something you're saying that um, is bothering someone. 
Someone's real concerned about you being this queen of swords. They could be worried about you saying something. Um, because someone here... Um, there's something about a group of people that are, are involved. Someone doesn't want change. Someone who actually doesn't belong some, in some sort of position. I don't know, they cheated to get ahead or something. Um, they're involved with this karmic feminine energy. They're concerned because you're too smart or perceptive and they, they can't make a move. This main male can't make a move. So this is some sort of masculine energy that's been trying to bring down a feminine energy. It's, and there's some sort of message or messages or document or correspondence that someone has altered, stopped, blocked, received some type of something that implicates someone or this could have to do with a trip or, or your life path. You're too perceptive. Someone wasn't expecting this from you. Someone's concerned, you're too smart. They're stuck, they have to wait. They have to wait on something. This person doesn't like you. It's like they want to see you in the reverse. This person could have tried to do something to, to force you to wait. Um, you're waiting, you're waiting for something here. Or this person has to wait. I think it's this person has to wait. They're real concerned about your clarity, your healthy boundaries. Um, someone has to wait. It has to do with you speaking, you saying something, your healthy boundaries. Deep down, someone knows there's good news coming. There's some sort of message. I'll reverse. This has to do with this a karmic feminine energy and a wealthy man. Someone doesn't think someone is innocent or someone is not having a new start. Someone's child, someone's not taking care of a child. Someone can't blackmail someone with a child. A child doesn't, doesn't belong to someone. Um, somebody's, something that someone is um, manifesting isn't going through. There's something, someone trying to block change. Something coming your way, something unexpected coming your way. You're not trapped. Someone could have tried to block you at work, block you from working, block a marriage, block any kind of contract or love. Wow. Sick, sickos. But I feel like this person is blocked. Also something about you not being false. There's something about someone trying to say you, you are not who you say you are or something like that. Karma playing out in the recent past. Someone got blocked. Something happened. Someone who doesn't want change. They got blocked. It has to do with stopping someone from courting someone. Um... Something was very dishonorable and they're losing their job or they, they tried to involve work or they involved someone's career. Now they're stuck or they could be losing their job. It has to do with some type of messages. Someone is expecting someone to pursue someone romantically. Knight of Cups. This wealthy man. They don't want this. 
This could be a married couple that's falling from grace, that doesn't want change. You're not trapped. They didn't trap someone. There could be some legalities unfolding here as well that could lead to a huge financial loss for them. These people could have tried to block your money flow as well. You're not in bad health. It could be some type of um, support, someone helping you even legally in this situation. There could be travel involved. There's a karmic feminine energy um, I don't know if they're trying to pretend. There's something about someone trying to pretend they're innocent and trying to block two people. Or this is a couple. Or trying to hide a relationship. Or this couple is falling apart. There's some type of a breakup. There's like a divorce. Or there's something about trying to keep two people apart here. Courtship reverse, marriage reverse, lovers reverse. Or some type of a breakup or someone's trying to stop two people from coming together. And I think it has to do with this wealthy man since that's what we're looking at. But someone can't make a move. It has something to do with messages that someone was sending to someone. Um, and something got out. Some sort of secret got out. Someone could be broke and, and you're not broke. Someone, someone, something, someone, someone's driven by money, but you're not driven by money because you're stable. You're not trying, you're built, you build things on your own. I feel like someone saw that or sees that. It's like, you're not pursuing someone for their money. There could have been some type of character assassination or something like that where someone was trying to say that you're a gold digger. Um, something is working out in your favor here. This could be some type of evidence of something. This is a, some type of financial gain or a blessing or a turn of... a you know, a positive event to sort of come out of nowhere on your behalf, something working in your favor, um, something unexpected happening. Um, and this could have to do with a trip, um, someone trying to block your, your work or get you fired. Someone is, I don't know if someone's going to help you rebuild something. Um, Three of Pentacles reverse in the near future. There's some group here that um, try to do something and it's failing. They're they they're either not on the same page or they produce shoddy workmanship or they're they don't see eye to eye. Um, whatever they were trying to do, it's it's failing. And it has to do with maybe someone giving you a tip, tipping you off on something, or giving you something to help you or something's coming your way. It's from the universe. There's some type of a blessing here, a gift coming. Um, and this group who's trying to block change, they don't get the gift or they don't have a gift. They're not gifted at something. And there's some type of a, um, there could be a married couple that's connected to this that's falling apart spiraling downwards all this work they put in isn't going anywhere it was like a waste of time and there could be legal issues or legalities contracts something to do with a contract and there seems to be a community of people who are aware of something here as well that are in the upright the magician someone is a master manifester here it could be this wealthy man um Something about blocking messages, not receiving messages, altering messages, something to do with a married couple or someone trying to block two people from getting married. It's 
false person involved in that. But you're not trapped. You're not trapped. It's something about blocking two people from coming together. Stop trying to stop someone from courting someone. Um... It's, it's like, I don't know if it's an emotional trap or energetic trap or what this is, but you're not trapped. There's a karmic feminine energy involved. Um, this person was really trying to stand in your way. I feel like... I don't know if someone wanted you to be in some type of like nervous energy that affected your health or something. Something about blocking something that you're born to do or very gifted at. They could have used legalities. Something could be surprising to someone that these people went this far. Um, it's very dishonorable. Um, this karmic feminine is very dishonorable. They could be losing someone's respect. Ace of Pentacles in the environment, um, reverse. There's a huge loss. A big, big loss here. Um, thoughts reverse. Maybe someone's not thinking the way they, they want them to. Someone's trying to block change, and because they try to block change, it actually had the opposite effect. You're not trapped. There's something about a journey or a trip or your life path. Um, you're this privileged lady in the upright. I don't know if this was a bet. A really weird bet. Um, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles reversed. They're taking a loss. They're losing because you're in the upright. Um... Someone wasn't able to steal something from you. Ace of Pentacles reversed. They're taking a loss. I don't know if this is your your hope, your dreams, um, intellectual property, love, your reputation, your dignity, your happiness, um, your will to to live happily, um, your hope. Your, your your reputation, I think I said that. Um, your blessing, your destiny. This thief did something very, very dishonorable. And you're in the upright. Someone sees you in the upright. It has to do with someone trying to block someone from courting you. This could be business, but I feel like it's love. Three of Swords Reverse. Um, it's something about you recovering from heartache. Someone wants you to feel some type of heartache. So definitely meditate. Um, this karmic feminine energy does cleanse your space. This is real weird energy. You're in the upright and it's really bothering them. They don't want you to be seen. Seen somehow. They don't want to be judged. Because when you recover... And they're gonna they're gonna expose themselves because you are who you say you are. Um, there's some there could be a divorce here. Um, maybe someone lied about you. That's what is in the messages. Trying to block something that's meant to be for you, having to do with work. Maybe someone falsified messages, pretended messages were from you that aren't. Or they blocked someone from messaging you. Or they said they were going to, to um, forward a message and they never did. And this could all be getting clarified. I feel like that could be this wealthy man. If it's not romance, Knight of Cups, it's definitely a friendly gesture from this wealthy man. That's what someone's expecting. Um, I feel like someone feels sick to their stomach. There's something very insidious here. Um... It has to do with someone's work, someone losing money, maybe losing a house, someone who tried to block change. Um, outcome, Knight of Swords reverse. somebody's a bully, 
someone acts hastily, someone could still be doing something hasty, um, trying to force something, someone who's angry, um, just gift reverse, trying to take a gift from someone, block a gift. Um, something about you not being in bad health, maybe not depressed, not trapped, not trapped in your head, not, not, not physically ill, over a breakup, um, over a job loss. It's almost like someone, there's someone here who um, just is very abusive here, that's like a bully, Knight of Wands reverse, that is taking a loss, they've tried to block change with this main male here, and there's a group here involved, and karma's playing out, and I feel like they're stuck, they're stuck for some reason. Stuck with the truth of what they tried to do, because of a message, they can't make a move. Someone could be worried that um, when someone speaks to you, you're gonna be very smart and clear and someone was trying to make you out to be the opposite of that or you're going to be once you see details in something you're going to be able to clear it up instantly could be that someone's really worried about you being very perceptive i feel like these are definitely people from the past i'm not seeing um an x here um this looks like wealthy man. This looks like someone that you don't know. Maybe they know you from the past. Um, you could know this person. What do we need to know about this main male who's stuck? Because your fate is your fate. You didn't take a loss. You're not taking a loss. Something that is meant to be is meant to be, and they can't make a move. You have a gift, or you're gifted, or there's a gift coming your way. Someone might want to apologize or confess. Could be in the messages. These people are motivated by, by money and luxury and glamour. And there's something about eternal love here that is superseding that. And they're going through a lot of conflict. You could be picking up on it. This is very hateful energy. Um, it's A lot of it has to do with your, your imagination, your creativity, your vitality. You have good ideas, you're real smart. And you could be reworking something. That's what's bothering someone. They feel like they have evidence of that. Um, you're, you're, you're very perseverant. Um, and this is a nightmare for them. So if it's a nightmare for them, the stakes are really high. So, you know, whatever this group was doing, it's, you know, they injured themselves um, trying to keep you out of something here because you're very innovative and they could have lied about you in this group, this business. They can't stop you from moving forward. Um, someone could even be sick here, um, sick and overloaded from what they've tried to do. Um, someone might want to stop or compromise. People in this group might want to stop and compromise with you because they're not getting any type of a jackpot. You're too focused on your goals. It's them that's trapped, not you. If they're trying to sell someone a dream, it's not working. If there was some sort of illusion that it was working at some point, it's no longer, um, there's no fantasy, there's no adventure. Um, people are losing money doing this. Uh, they feel cast away or this is leading to failure. 
Um, there's someone here who didn't drink the Kool-Aid. And that's a big part of this. Um, and again, someone trying to hide their anger over this eternal love that someone has for you. Or that someone's some someone's coming towards you with these this eternal love energy. There's some sort of consistency coming your way. You could not maybe you know this person, maybe you don't. Um, but there's this love is superseding some kind of obstacle that someone was trying to put in your way to trap you emotionally, to trap you. They had some sort of strategy. It's very weird. But you, you win. You don't see it that way. Because you don't play this game, this weird game, whatever these people are up to. Um, you're ready. Someone didn't see you as this alert, this smart, this... So you... Someone didn't see you as logical. Someone feels like you're more logical than they are. Um, it has to do with building business, business, big projects, big money. Someone, has, yeah, they thought they could outsmart you or something. They, they're, someone is just stuck because you're not, they thought you were, they just didn't think that you were as smart as you are. Um, tell me about this main male. Um, there's some sort of karma playing out in regards to something that originates with you. Um, it has to do with money. People could be arguing over money. And there's a friendship group that is falling apart. Um, and there also seems to be some type of a disconnect between a couple. Um, it's because... You're too alert, or someone's too alert around here to what's going on. It's like someone is helping you cultivate this sweet dream. You're not in, in a disaster. Um, yeah, someone here, there's abundance around you. Someone's overloaded by that. There's some type of sweet love coming your way, or, um, you know, you're manifesting this. Um, or you have this, um, or if, or if you're in something, you know, you're working through this, this connection, there's some type of sweet love here. If someone tried to call da cause damage, you, it's like you're, you've reworked something, you're too smart. If someone tried to cause damage energetically or whatever thing they tried to do here, this alliance, they're in a nightmare, you're not, someone's really concerned that you're very smart, very perceptive, and they're ruining their own life, this whole alliance, it's some sort of stark reality hitting people about this luxury life they thought they were going to get off of this situation. Um, they don't have a gift. They didn't get the gift. Um, there's no self-love here. They can't love themselves having done what they've done. And there's some type of eternal love here, some sort of soulmate connection that's thriving or blooming or coming your way. Um, yeah. It's like somebody wanted to thrive off of your demise, which could be if it's not energetic, because this is starting to feel like some kind of weird, you know, sacrificial thing, um, you know, that's just weird. But if it's not that, you know, this could be a group of people who went against you in such a horrible way. Um, as to, you know, 
see you fail to the point where you couldn't get back up again to appease someone who's jealous of you um, so that these people could get ahead. Um, so, you know, that's spiritually dark no matter what. Um, and, you know, there could be receipts. Maybe they're, these people were trying to block a true connection between you and someone else. Um, and the loss, the financial loss could be, you know, for one, they can't deliver something here if this has to do with your profession. Um, this group could have come together trying to replace you, uh, do what you do, but they can't because it's not their gift. They're not gifted at what they were trying to do. They were trying to knock you off your square, take something, block someone, someone here who's resourceful, um, block a connection, um, and someone could realize what they did, that they could rely on this person. Um, if they're a leader, a business leader, maybe a financier, if this is a business, it could be falling apart, especially if this person realizes what someone was doing or what these people were doing, um, trying to block you. Whether it's spiritually dark, some kind of, you know, on purpose plan, which is, just sounds really weird, but it's, you know, it's possible that someone would do that. If it's not that, then it's just energetically, it's coming across as very, you know, spiritually dark. You know, to appease someone, you know, to appease someone who was very stubborn that, you know, wanted to rid you, you know, get rid of you, get you out of some type of profession or job or city or workplace. Someone was, um, didn't want to see you be happy it's this karmic feminine energy here um, that wanted to see you heartbroken and um, they got all these people together um, this could also be legal issues coming especially if someone here is um, advocating for you in regards to this message I, I really feel the energy of this person is not you I feel like there's someone here that is a master manifester. I feel like this is a masculine energy that has very strong um, light energy um, that is very powerful. That could I feel like this person is advocating for you, maybe energetically. Um, people have to hide their anger around this person. Yeah. Because there's like a lot of hate towards this idea of some type of soulmate connection with you and this person. Um, and there's something that makes these people hate themselves as well because of what they've done. I'm trying to keep two people apart. That's tr that word, there's true love. Um, what, what is this justice, actually, is there any details we need to know? So someone's karma's playing out, um, it's continuing to play out because I have justice here, justice in the recent past. What, um, how is this karma playing out? Someone is blocked, someone who's very disturbed and unapologetic. Or the fact that you're not disturbed, someone doesn't have anything to say for themselves, something's untrue, it could be that. You have a very big imagination, you have a smart mind. Um, you know, someone was selling someone a dream or trying to create an illusion around you to block something, to take your gift or block your gift. But you seem to be maintaining very well and you're not um, driven by glamour or luxury. Um, you seem very grounded. You seem very strategic. Um, and there seems to be some sort of third wheel energy here that's trying to knock you off your square. And that sort of revelation or truth could be creating an ending for these people. It definitely has to do with your, your mind you speaking your mind, you being clear, you being smart, you coming up with new ways to uh, 
self-actualize in spite of what these people have done or doing um, to try to block block your progress or block some sort of commitment or support. You're, it's your intelligence. You live and learn. Um, and there could be someone here who has realized something that's going on here as well. I feel like it could be this wealthy man. Um, and it has something to do with someone being a good person or not, that it's not you. And, and because someone was trying to pretend like they're a really good person for some reason, they're like being pure of heart or something is part of this person's strategy and it, it fell apart. It's something about someone being false, not being sweet, not being nice, not being kind is, uh, it's like someone's mask falling off. And so some type of strategy is over because someone can see through this person. They're not sweet and cute and kind. Um, so someone's expecting someone to come towards you with this romantic energy or congenial energy, this wealthy man. This could be like a King of Pentacles type of person that has a lot of resources or they're very good at managing business money money um very resourceful ground grounded um perseverance so this person's going to move forward someone's expecting this person to move forward romantically with you this person is very much focused on schedule management time management planning organizing someone's planning something um, it could have to do with a compromise or agreement. Um, so someone feels like they can't stop you, um, and that their adventure is over and they're in some sort of a situation where there's no, um, no connection uh, with someone that was telling them what to do that didn't lead to an adventure. Um, someone fell for the temptation, they were persuaded, they followed something here, um, having to do with eternal love, and it, it was not merit-making. It didn't get someone's blessing, they didn't get your blessing, and you get the sweet dream. You're a lot more relaxed than someone would, would expect anyone to be that has dealt with something like this. And they're rapidly losing. Um, in the near future, this whole group, there's something going awry. I don't know if someone's tipping you off or you're receiving something here energetically. There's a blessing. Um, something's coming your way and, it, and it's going to knock this, this group down another notch. Something's happening. This, these bully, bully group. Um, what's going on? Flying monkeys. You're not lonely. Um... It's something to do with this group trying to take something and say that someone's not a sweetheart. <clears throat> Ruin your reputation, take something from you. Um, there's some type of like worry or fear that they weren't able to induce in you. This, this is very hateful energy. Um, it's something about you being calm. Um, something about a third wheel. Um, some sort of a nightmare. That, that someone was trying to create some sort of obstruction. It's not going to work. There's going to be some type of an agreement here. Recon reconciliation or... Yeah. This is going to overload people. The Magician. Um, someone here is a Master Manifester. And um, it just feels very powerful energy. Um, someone's not rejected someone's not rejected someone's not rejecting someone some type of messages here um, because someone's not rejecting someone someone here feels like they're taking a loss there's there's sweet love here um, 
there's mercy, there's kindness. There's building, building together, focused on, um, you know, two people that are focused on building. Um, this injures someone. They see you winning, they feel like you win. There's like a whole group involved of mean, like a mean clique that expected to gain something off of this obstacle they were trying to create. Just watching to see, you know, what's going to happen if, you know, did, the, did they lose the blessing? Did they lose the blessing? Watching to see, um, you're too smart. Or someone's too smart here. Someone is very, very smart. Someone is very strategic. I feel like these people could just now be realizing that about you and feeling injured. <laughs> There's an Ace of Pentacles reverse here. Someone wasn't thinking something through. There's a huge loss here in the environment because you thought something through. They didn't think something through is how they're looking at it. Yeah, it's like they see you as winning. You win because you thought something through. Um, this could be a lot of energy, you know, people going against you uh, and you you aren't taking hasty action, you observe, you just keep focusing on the task at hand. You don't react emotionally, uh, or if you do, you, you know, you process until you're clear before you take big action. Um, yeah, you don't act rash out of anger. Um, I think someone here is trying to hide their anger Someone here that wanted to be be the sweetheart instead of you. With this group of people. This weird clique. Um, someone's afraid of you overcoming some type of heartache. Um, it has to do with the marriage. Um, you being seen in the upright, respected. I have a lot to offer here. Um, some sort of evidence. They're worried some sort of evidence is going to come out that's going to also help you to heal. Um, it could in it involve a family, someone being sick, um, someone who's real hateful being sick, someone in a nightmare, um, someone injured. Yeah, because you're ready, you're alert, you're highly aware. You're not blind to something. Someone's not blind to something. You're in a sweet dream. Um, outcome, Knight of Swords Reverse. Someone who doesn't have this gift that they want instead of you is not getting it, and they're lashing out. They're lashing out. They're a bully. What are they trying to do now? I don't know. They just see that you're in a sweet dream. They're upset. Um... Okay, so they see you gaining, and they're still trying to steal something. <laughs> um, illness, reverse, under the deck. Someone's really unwell here. I have illness under this deck, and bad health under this deck. So this is some type of physical ailment, physical... So someone's not well. Physically unwell, mentally unwell. Maybe more than one person, because we've got two decks with this bad health. And, you know, there's a lot of cards here. So, statistically, unlikely for these both to come out under the decks, which under the deck permeates the whole reading. So this is really, you know, Nine of Wands reverse. Someone who is a very abusive, um, you know, that's unwell. Physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. You could be picking up on it. Um, yeah, you could really be picking up on it. So, um, you're doing great. You're doing very, very great. Um, lots, lots of love your way. Um, and 
yeah, keep being diligent. And if you're thinking of meditating or cleansing your space, it'd be a great idea. If you haven't gotten a chance to do it yet today, um, and yeah, if this message resonates, I hope that it helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.